Your Excellency, President Maitripala Surisena, Ms. Amina Arif, the country director for the IFC, Deputy Governors, Assistant Governors, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my great pleasure um, to welcome you to the first Sri Lankan Sustainable Finance Workshop hosted by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka in partnership with the International Finance Corporation and the Sustainable Banking Network. As you may know, the Central Bank has sought to incorporate sustainability into its policies to also encourage the banking sector to maintain, to mainstream sustainability into their policies and programs. At the beginning of the year, the Central Bank announced its monetary and financial sector policies through the roadmap for 2017 and beyond. In the roadmap, it was highlighted that as a, as a member of the Sustainable Banking Network, the Central Bank would focus on sustainable banking practices to help banks to effectively manage environmental and social risks in the projects they finance and to support businesses that are greener, climate friendly and socially inclusive. We also announced that as an important step towards sustainable finance, we intended to conduct a workshop for the senior staff of banking institutions in Sri Lanka during the first quarter of this year with the support of the IFC. I'm pleased to note that this has now become a reality. Today's workshop is a timely move to bring together the industry and international partners to discuss what is needed to develop a more sustainable financial system in Sri Lanka. Now, recent development in the United States notwithstanding, the past two years have seen a dramatic acceleration in terms of global commitments to sustainable development, such as the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and the launch of the Sustainable Development Goals. To match this momentum, there has been a ramping up of national and global dialogue, leading to increased action and innovation in sustainable financing to, to create green, inclusive, and low-carbon economies. The IFC-led Sustainable Banking Network consists of banking regulators and banking associations from 31 emerging markets, representing over 85% of the assets in emerging market countries. Of these 31 countries, 15 have already launched sustainable finance policies, guidelines, and roadmaps. This development highlights an emerging positive dynamic of market-based actions and policy leadership to advance sustainable finance globally. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka joined the Sustainable Banking Network last year. As a new member, we have the opportunity to learn from the lessons and experiences from other countries and to determine our own path in sustainable finance through accelerated actions. In Sri Lanka, His Excellency the President has put sustainability at the heart of economic development. His presence today, and we greatly appreciate the time he has allocated despite his extraordinarily busy schedule, sends a strong signal of the political will and commitment from the very top of government in Sri Lanka. The Central Bank's vision is to play a catalytic role in fostering an environmentally and socially responsible banking sector. Our strategy is to promote sustainable finance to encourage businesses to grow while conserving resources and protecting the environment. We want to help banks to effectively manage environmental and social risks associated with the projects they finance and also to increase their support for businesses that are green climate-friendly, and socially inclusive. We have a very encouraging and promising situation in Sri Lanka. 18 banks have already adopted the 11 voluntary principles to operationalize the sustainable finance commitment through the leadership of the Sri Lanka Banks Association. 
We appreciate that greatly and hope to work with them to move the agenda forward uh, further. We want to scale up these efforts to all, to all stakeholders of our financial system and accelerate action to become a regional leader in sustainable finance. The central bank plans to develop a sustainable finance roadmap. We look to our partners with government agencies such as the Ministry of Environment, the association representing banks and other financial institutions, the IFC, and the Sustainable Banking Network to support these plans. The objective of today's workshop is to share information, propose ideas, and build a consensus on the process for drawing up the roadmap and agreeing on its broad directions. One of the leading members of the SBN, uh, a representative from the Indonesian financial regulator, Mr. Sejiwan, I hope I've got that right, is here today with us today to provide insights and experience from Indonesia's journey in developing and implementing a sustainable financing roadmap. In addition, Ms. Ayala, from a leading bank in Asia, that is the Bank of Philippine Islands, will share with us their experience in implementing a sustainable finance strategy with a concrete case study. We are grateful to them for coming here to share their expertise and experience with us. It is useful that there will be an opportunity to learn from a regulator as well as from a bank. We believe that this workshop is the beginning of a journey to collectively develop a sustainable finance work roadmap with actions specifically suited for Sri Lanka. I wish all of you a successful workshop with fruitful deliberations, and I'm sure that this event would be an important milestone in our efforts to achieve sustainable growth and development in Sri Lanka. And let me end again by thanking His Excellency for taking the time to come and grace this occasion and to signal the very strong political commitment in Sri Lanka to sustainable development. Thank you.